Let's say you are building an AI assistant for a developer. You want it to help with everything, checking GitHub issues, sending Slack messages, creating Jira tickets, and querying databases. Sounds simple, right? Well, let me show you why this seemingly straightforward task will teach you more about API integration than you ever wanted to know. Today, we are going to explore three different approaches to building this AI assistant. REST APIs, WebSockets, and the new kid on the block, Model Context Protocol or MCP. By the end of this video, you will understand why each approach has its place and more importantly, why choosing the right tool for the job matters more than any single best solution. Let's get started. So you start with REST APIs because, well, that's what everyone knows. Your AI assistant needs to create a GitHub issue, simple HTTP post, need to send a Slack message, another HTTP post. And here is what that looks like. And at first, this works great. You feel like a coding wizard, but then reality hits. Each API has its own authentication method, its own rate limits, its own error handling patterns. GitHub uses different headers than Slack. Jira has its own peculiar way of handling dates, and your beautiful, simple AI assistant turns mm -hmm. into this. Now you're managing five different authentication tokens, three different rate limiting strategies, and God help you if any of these APIs decide to change their schema. Your AI assistant is spending most of its time being a glorified HTTP client rather than being intelligent. And here's a key limitation. Every task requires multiple API calls. Want to create an issue and notify the team and assign it to someone? That's three separate HTTP requests, each with their own potential failure points and each requiring separate error handling. So you discover WebSockets, real-time communication, persistent connections, and this is genuinely powerful for certain use cases. You can have your AI assistant maintain live connections to Slack, get real-time updates from GitHub, and create truly interactive experiences. So here, we are setting up a class to manage our WebSocket connection. Unlike REST, we are going to maintain persistent connection to our services. And here we are establishing a persistent WebSocket connections to Slack. Notice the WSS protocol, that's WebSocket secure. Once this connection is open, we can send and receive messages instantly without the HTTP handshake overhead. The on open callback fires when the connection is established. And at this point, we have a live bi-directional pipe to Slack. And here is where WebSockets really shine. We can stream responses in real time, sending messages chunks as the AI generates them. Users see the response appearing word by word, just like ChatGPT interface. This creates that AI is thinking experience that's impossible with REST APIs. And this is where WebSockets truly shine. For real-time applications, WebSockets are genuinely superior. They got some millisecond latency for live updates. They got bi-directional streaming so your AI can send responses as it thinks. WebSockets have persistent connections so no HTTP handshake overhead. And finally, real-time collaboration which enables multiple users to interact simultaneously. So if you are building a live chat interface for your AI assistant, WebSockets are the clear winner. But WebSockets come with their own complexity. Here is the thing. WebSockets solve the communication layer brilliantly, but you still have the same fundamental problem. Your AI assistant is still juggling different message formats for different services. Slack has its own WebSocket protocol. GitHub has its own. So you are still writing custom integration code for every single service. WebSockets are amazing for what they're designed for, but they don't solve the API integration complexity problem. Now, this is where model context protocol comes in and changes the game, but not in the way you might expect. MCP doesn't make individual requests faster than WebSockets. Instead, it solves a completely different problem, standardized AI tool integration. MCP was introduced by Anthropic in November 2024, and by 2025, major players like Microsoft, OpenAI, and GitHub have adopted it. But what makes it special isn't speed, it's standardization. Let me break down what's really happening here and why this complexity is actually solving a bigger problem. So here is what the same GitHub integration looks like with MCP. First, we are setting up an MCP server. Think of this as creating tool catalog and any AI can discover and use. This is boilerplate. You just write it once. This is the magical part. Instead of the AI needing to know about GitHub's APIs, Slack APIs, and how to coordinate between them, you are defining a single high-level tool. The AI just says, 
I want to create an issue and notify the team. It doesn't need to know the implementation details. And here's where you see the real benefit. All the complexity of coordinating multiple APIs, handling different authentication methods, and managing error states is hidden inside this one tool. Your AI assistant just calls one function instead of managing three different API integration. And this connects everything up. Again, just boilerplate. Here is what your AI assistant code looked like before. Look at all this complexity. The AI assistant needs to know about GitHub's authentication, Slack's API format, error handling for each service, and what to do when things fall partway through. Now, here is the same thing with MCP. That's it, four lines of code. The AI doesn't need to know anything about GitHub or Slack APIs. It just says, do this workflow, and the MCP server handles all the complexity. And here is how your AI agent interacts with this. Here is the crucial insight. Yes, the MCP server has more code upfront, but here is what you get in return. Before MCP, every AI assistant need to implement GitHub integration, Slack integration, Jira integration separately. If you have 10 AI projects, you write the same integration code 10 times. After MCP, you write the GitHub MCP server once. Now every AI assistant in your company can use it. New AI project, it automatically gets GitHub capabilities. That's the real simplification. Here is what MCP actually improves. You write once and use everywhere. So you build MCP server once and use them across all AI projects. AI focuses on being intelligent and MCP servers handle API complexity. Your AIs can now discover new capabilities without code changes and every MCP server follows the same pattern. So no more learning different integration patterns. Microsoft made MCP generally available in Copilot Studio because it reduces the integration burden. Instead of building custom connectors for every API, they build MCP server once and any AI agent can use them. Let's be clear about what MCP doesn't do. It doesn't make individual network requests faster than WebSockets. It doesn't reduce latency for real-time communication. It doesn't replace the simplicity of REST for basic CRUD operations. And it's not better for stateless cacheable operations. MCP is specifically for AI tool integration scenarios. So if you're not building AI agents, you probably don't need MCP at all. We have journeyed from REST APIs through WebSockets to MCP. And the key insight isn't that any one approach is universally better. It's that each solves different problems. REST gives you simplicity and universality. WebSockets give you real-time communication. MCP gives you standardized AI integration. The magic happens when you use them together appropriately. Your AI assistant might use MCP to discover and execute tools, WebSockets to stream responses to users, and REST APIs for standard web operations. So choose your tools based on the problems you are solving, not the hype around the newest technology. Thanks for watching, and if you found this video helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more honest takes on emerging technologies. And do let me know in the comments what approach are you using for your AI integrations.